what happens to sea animals in the oceans is by definition a holocaust. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So recently I uploaded a video where I was out the front of Sydney Sea Life Aquarium, educating people on what's happening in the oceans to the sea animals, talking about the hypocrisy of, you know, paying to see all these fish in captivity, which is immoral in and of itself, these animals, sea animals are prisoners, but then going home and eating fish, which causes the bycatch by killing of like sea turtles and dolphins and porpoises and whales and you know while you're causing pain and suffering to fish who feel pain but the daily mail <laughs> the daily mail have made an article about this uh which is interesting the daily mail and joey carbstrong have had runnings run-ins before they've made multiple articles about me in the uk in australia there's been a fair few just type in daily mail joey carbstrong in a google search but we're going to read through this one together because i'm interested to know what they thought of this and the Daily Mail, let's just, you know, from prior experience, have a hard time sometimes being objective, and you could tell they've got a bit of a bias <laughs> against the vegans. Um, so we'll see how they go with this one. So let's go. Solo vegan protester wears a TV screen around his neck, showing images of dead dolphins outside of Sydney Aquarium as stunned parents and children wait to go inside. Wow, Daily Mail got good clickbait on their titles. Uh, Let's keep going. A polarizing vegan activist has staged a bizarre one-man protest at Sydney Aquarium playing gruesome videos and comparing fishing to the Holocaust in front of bemused customers, including children. Um, I don't think I compared fishing to the Holocaust. The way they frame that is really simple. Like, no, what happens to sea animals in the oceans is by definition a Holocaust. Holocaust definition, slaughter or destruction on a mass scale, uh, something like one, between one and tr three trillion sea animals are murdered every year. If that doesn't constitute a holocaust, I don't know what does. Keep going. Joey Carbstrong Armstrong, my real name's Armstrong, <laughs> 34, who was well known for his animal rights stunts, uploaded the video of his latest antics in Sydney CBD on Friday, which gained support on his YouTube channel. He once compared artificial semina insemination of cattle to sexual abuse on British breakfast television and has also gained media attention for his protests at slaughterhouses. Here again, they're doing the same thing. He once compared artificial insemination of cattle to sexual abuse. I'm not comparing artificial insemination of cattle to sexual abuse. Artificial insemination of cattle is sexual abuse. They hold the, the cows down in a rack so they can't move. They force their arm into the anus of the cow to hold the cervix, and then they get a pipette full of bull semen, which was extracted from a male bull, another form of sexual abuse, you know, against that bull's consent, and then it's injected into the female cow. Now, having an arm shoved into your anus, uh, if that ain't sexual abuse, what is? Um, I just don't understand why people think I'm comparing it to sexual abuse when it's actually sexual abuse or rape in and of itself. Let's keep going. <laughs> On the way to the aquarium, he films a young boy fishing and asks, catch anything, mate? Fish feel pain. It wasn't a young boy. See how they're trying to frame this as I'm just talking to children? This guy, let's just go to the video, see how young this boy was. He was a man. Catch nothing? Okay. No fish feel pain. It's an older Asian man. He is not young. <laughs> So why you keep trying to frame it like I'm just, you know, targeting young, extremely young boys. Like, there just happened to be school excursions on that day. So if kids are fine to buy fish and eat fish and their parents feed them fish, they should be educated on what happens to fish. Simple. And then I said, uh, catch anything, mate. Fish feel pain. And then, he, and then I turned to my cameraman and say, I really should say, did you catch anyone? Not anything, because animals are not things. And that was a slip of the tongue. Animals are someone, not something. They don't deserve to be hooked in the face and dragged out of their habitat so you can eat their body. It's cruel, abusive, and wrong. Okay, so let's continue. Images in the video playing on his TV screen in front of children include dead dolphins and seals caught in fishing nets. Yes, because they are killed as by kill. So people claim to care about these animals, but they will eat fish, which causes the by kill of dolphins, porpoises, seals, turtles. He tells customers walking into the aquarium that it is a 
sea animal prison, which it is. And the types of animals in the aquarium are routinely murdered as biocule when the fish they eat for dinner are caught. Fact. Thank you, Daily Mail. You're spitting flames. You're spitting facts. You're being very objective in this article, which I actually do appreciate honest journalism. And it's really hard because I don't usually expect that from the Daily Mail, but this is good. When he gets the attention of a group of students outside, Mr. Armstrong engages them and promotes his YouTube channel. Well, they asked me. I didn't just start promoting it. They actually asked me. Are you on social media? What's this gonna be on? Where's, what's your YouTube channel, dude? And I just gave it to them. A man with the students who appears to be a teacher or parent asks, are you saying they treat fish badly in the aquarium? Well, this is an animal prison. <laughs> I'm actually saying people get, go to see these fish for entertainment, which is bad, okay? But then they'll sit down and dine on the body parts of fish who have, who have suffered and been dragged out of the ocean, which is also bad. Two bad things. Mr. Armstrong provides commentary on the patrons he interviews, including one adult couple in the queue. After the couple go inside, he tells his cameraman that the, the man he films obviously eats fish and that he couldn't understand the double standard of fetishizing fish than eating him. Well, he's fetishizing these animals in this aquarium, like, wow, look at the beautiful animals. And then he goes home, eats murdered sea animals and supports an industry that routinely murders the sea animals that he's going there to look with his girlfriend. Like, well, look at the beautiful animals in their prison. So that's a double standard there. And it says, they're being murdered in an eternal holocaust in the oceans because people want a seafood platter, he said. Facts, they are being murdered in an eternal holocaust in the oceans. And if you don't like facts, then you should just stop looking at reality. That is a cold, hard fact. The animals in the ocean are experiencing an eternal holocaust. The numbers are staggering. No human tragedy comes close, okay? Only 100 billion human beings have ever lived on Earth. We kill more sea animals than that in a few weeks. Like, it's crazy. It is insane. <sighs> so, again, thank you for stating these facts for repeating my quote here. I 100% stand by that and I uh, appreciate you putting this on your platform for me. Armstrong questions aquarium staff and interacts with security staff in the clip in which he denies he is protesting and questions whether the promenade outside of the aquarium is a public area. Well, he goes, the security guy comes up to me and goes, you're protesting. And I said, well, I'm just asking people not to murder fish. If you consider that a protest, I wasn't shouting, I wasn't applying pressure. I was just doing outreach and I, wouldn't consider that really a protest. I mean, it's pretty subjective. Like, I'm more just like saying, hey, this is what's happening to the fish. Can you please stop eating the fish? Here's a pamphlet, watch Seaspiracy. I mean, I was quite calm, polite, and respectful in that entire video. So, Daily Mail Australia approached Sea Life Sydney Aquarium and Joey Armstrong for a comment. Uh, yeah, I mean, they might have sent me an email. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, they sent me an email just basically asking me uh, your perception Respond to the perception that your message look a little intrusive. Well, you know, it's a public space and just educating people. Uh, what's intrusive is getting a hook shoved in your face, dragged onto the ocean and a knife stuck in your stomach so people can have a bit of your body on a seafood platter. It's pretty intrusive. What's intrusive is what's happening to the oceans that are getting plundered by trawling nets and there's this massive holocaust of sea animals and suffering going on and it's destroying the very planet that sustains all of our lives. That's pretty intrusive. Not me standing there with a TV screen saying, hey, can you please stop eating fish, okay? I personally think the article uh, has shared my message quite clearly. I think the person who wrote the article, Peter Vincent, has done a good job at just reporting what happened. I mean, I didn't, I didn't appreciate him saying, I'm comparing fishing to the Holocaust. I'm saying that what happens in the oceans is a mass Holocaust in and of itself. I didn't compare it to any other human Holocaust. Yeah, and the fact that he said I'm comparing sexual abuse to artificial insemination. No, artificial insemination is a euphemism for sexual abuse to make people feel like it isn't sexual abuse, but it's just artificial insemination. No, when a woman goes to get an IVF done or whatever, where they get, you know, impregnated through their own consent to a doctor, let's just say they can't have a baby naturally, they want to be a single parent and have, be, you know, fertile, have their eggs fertilised, they go in and give consent to the doctor, don't they? These animals are being held down in Iraq, enslaved, and being sexually abused without any consent. So anyways, that's the little article we got uh, from doing the Sydney Sea Life Aquarium stunt. <laughs> let me just let, tell you right now, the video is here if you wanna check it out. We'll leave a link down below so you can watch the video. We've got bigger stunts coming, <laughs> more controversial stunts for this sea campaign, and this one seemed to get 
the press. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. Thanks, Peter, for writing an article on this. Actually quite like the way that you were objective with this and I didn't expect from Daily Mail because, you know, we've got a bit of history together, Daily Mail, with them labelling me a extremist and aggressive violent activist. Yeah, cool. So what do you guys think of that down below? I'll leave the, the article from Peter down below. I appreciate Daily Mail. Thanks for getting the message out there for us, spreading the message uh, of that we shouldn't be doing this to the oceans and to the sea animals and or to any animals and we should all live vegan. It's much better for everyone involved, the earth, the animals. Daily Mail, doing some vegan activism for us, doing some vegan advocacy for us. And uh, stay tuned for the rest of the videos in the sea animal campaigning. Got some amazing stuff to come. Bigger stunts than this one, that's for sure. And uh, thank you for all your support. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Saying people go and pay to see these fish for entertainment, but then they'll sit down and dine on the body parts of fish who have suffered and been dragged out of the ocean.